Senator Bernie Sanders delivered remarks Friday on the ongoing crisis between the U.S. and Iran, which reached new levels of tension after a drone strike President Donald Trump ordered killed Iranian military commander Qasem Soleimani last night. This is a dangerous escalation that brings us closer to another disastrous war in the Middle East, which could cost countless lives and trillions more dollars and lead to even more deaths, more conflict, more displacement in that already highly volatile region of the world, said Sanders. Sanders, a candidate for the 2020 Democratic presidential nomination, unequivocally rejected military action in Iran Thursday evening in the immediate wake of the assassination, making a direct contrast with his primary election rivals, Trump promised to end endless wars. Sanders declared in a statement Thursday night, but this action puts us on the path to another one. On Friday, the senator emphasized his opposition to the 2003 invasion of Iraq and subsequent occupation, saying that the lessons of that war should be heeded by U.S. leaders. It gives me no pleasure to tell you that at this moment we face a similar crossroads, fraught with danger, said Sanders. Once again we must worry about unintended consequences, and the impact of unilateral decision-making, the Vermont senator also touched on the disconnect between Trump's comments from the 2016 campaign, when the then-candidate promised to change U.S. military policy, and today. As we all remember, Trump promised to end endless war, Sanders said. Tragically, his actions now put us on the path to another war potentially one that could be even worse than before, a watch Sanders' speech, let's block ads. Why? 